Uh, welcome to uh, Outdoor King Forum. Uh, this afternoon what we're going to do, we're going to be removing a reel and a sole plate all ready to go off to the sharpness. Right, the first thing we have to do is, is remove the chain case cover which is very very easy. We just take out these uh, two screws in the side. This exposes the chain base of the mower. Right O. Now we have to remove the chains from the cutter sprocket. This is the main drive sprocket which which uh, operates the uh, the cutting assembly, which has two chains. Now you will see down here we have a removable link, which we have to remove which is uh, quite easy with a screwdriver and just a matter of just usually giving it a bit of a tap and it will come off like so there it is right and we just remove the, the link from the back of it which take off the front plate and out comes the link Right. Now, a good, a good little point here is to grab these bits and put them into the chain case so they don't get lost. Right, that is the first chain out of the way. Now, we have to just uh, find out where the, the link is. Thanks, Joe. And we just remove this one the same way. Just give it a tap. Usually they, they come out very easily. Right. Remove the link and remove the chain. Right, which exposes the uh, the front pocket. Right, the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to put a spanner on the cutter reel nut and loosen it off. There we go. Right, -o, so we've removed the nut and the, and the washer. We need to remove the cutter sprocket. Now, you may need to uh, lay the mower just over on its side, pour a bit of penetrating oil down there if it's been on there for a long while, or maybe WD-40 might be okay as well to uh, just to, uh, to ease the removal of it, because it has to come out. And what we need to do that is, a th is a th what they call a three-leg gear puller, and the way you do that is to just put the gear puller onto the sprocket. Righto, and, and what we're going to do is tighten the centre thread down very, very easily and the sprocket will move off, off the shaft. So all we do is just take this off, just give it a quick wind, and as you can see, the sprocket is moving off the shaft very very easily. In this case it's just about ready to, to fall off. Here we go. Removing the sprocket. Now is a good time to inspect the sprocket for any really severely pointed teeth. In this case, uh, they're, they're, they're worn, as would be expected, 
but still in reasonable condition. The sprocket is still in serviceable condition. Right, now we turn the cylinder over to find the wood rough key that is sitting in its slot and the idea is, is to gently uh, prise it out of its slot by, by using a, uh, a screwdriver little screwdriver, usually a little little tap with a knockometer we'll get it to, uh, to rise from its slot and there it is, that's a wood rough key so keep that safe with the rest of the gear righto, we're going to move the mower around now into a position where we can really start to look at removing the reel and the easiest way to do this is to undo the two grass deflector knobs on the top of the mower and that's quite a simple operation as well right, there's one Right, and hopefully the grass deflector should the thing out, slide up and out of the mower thus, which gives us a unimpeded view of the actual reel itself. The reel sitting there in its bearings. Right out. Now the next thing we need to do is to remove the two bearing end caps at either side and that's quite easy to do. Right, we just remove these two screws. Which I didn't know my own strength when I did them up last time. <laughs> There's one. There's two. And do the same on the other side. You might have to clear out any debris that's in the screw heads there to make sure that you get positive purchase with your screwdriver. Righto, we're going to now remove the top of the bearing cap, which is just a matter of just lifting it up and out. That's the left hand side, right hand side. Now all we do is lift the reel on the left hand side looking from the front and it should lift up and it's just a matter of feeding it and out she comes there is a reel complete with bearing and ink cups and that of course is its little uh, foam washer that sits in there that uh, feeds oil into the bearing as you can see these, these bearings here if I can uh, show you the inside of the bearing is an open bearing these are the original bearings that came with the mower and as of late they're still quite serviceable however we might decide to change them at this time they are getting fairly old even though they feel okay they, they, I think they could do with replacing as you can see now we have the sole plate complete with the, with the bottom blade that has to be removed as well and we, we do that by removing the screws as I'll show you in a minute. Right, now what we're doing, we're just taking out the three retaining bolts that hold the sole plate into the side frame. And it's just a matter of just loosening these off. Yeah. 
and we remove the nuts. here which is the reverse of the last procedure one down on in here which is usually the trickiest one lifting the mower up and the sole plate will hopefully come out and there we go one sole plate here we go how about that let's see Right over it, as you can see, the uh, the sole plate and the reel removed from the mower. What we do, we grab this and this, and uh, we're off to off to the sharpness. That's uh, Outdoor King Squad Bonner 17 inch model 45 reel removed, sole plate removed, ready to go off for resharpening and spin grinding. Thank you very much for watching.